It's war time. What time is it? 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 War time. So now you know the truth. What you gonna do? Understand that God only has a chosen few. Amos 3 and 1, only family most I ever knew. Psalms 147, Jacob got the laws and the statues. It's almost time to go, enduring to the end. Gotta meditate, day and night, observing what's pretend. Got my fringes on, you should know, abstaining from those sins. Yeah, we serving God, Almighty God, if truth and righteousness, Deuteronomy 28. The most I wasn't playing, then you 12 and 1, rising up, we return it to our land, Israel can't be stopped, we won't be stopped, we numbers like the sand, Revelation 13, 10, God gon' make them understand, and Israel, he ain't coming back, thank God, Israel, Israel, yeah, it's war time. Because you already say you know you're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah, we just gonna get to the point. Give me 20 and 15. Bring it out! Because it's important that you know how you an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee. So God said that we must hearken unto his voice, and if not, that these curses will come upon us as a people. We are a cursed people, brother. Do you not see that we are cursed people today? Are we on the top of society or the bottom? We at the bottom, right? That is a curse from God. We gonna rise? How we gonna rise? We gonna rise by keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments. Give me that in Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 6. Because it's important that you know how we rise as a people. Christ waiting on us. They waiting on us to get right before he come back. This is something that you got to know. And it's more than just prayer, brother. It's action that has to come with this. Read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me, that ye should do so in the land whither you go to possess it. So the Lord taught us law, statutes, and commandments, but yet we have lost that as a people. This is why we're on the bottom of society. But let's see what happens when we keep these law, statutes, and commandments. Read. Keep therefore and do them. He says keep these law, statutes, and commandments. We are supposed to do them. That is an action word, brother. It is more than just prayer. Right. Read. Yes. For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. So by keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, this is how we show that we are wise people. That we have understanding on how to govern ourselves. That's you look around I mean. today, brother, we don't know how to govern ourselves. That's, That's why our people stand on the head of the streets, selling drugs, killing their people, black on black crime, rape and disease, and everything is rampant throughout our, our communities. This is why we're on the bottom of society, brother. You understand? Right. So, along with that, you said you have to pray, but there's something else you have to do. Give me uh, John 9 31. Bring it out! Because along with prayer, you have to know if he's going to hear your prayer. Bring it out. You got it? The book of John, chapter 9 and verse 31. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. So the Bible says we know that God heareth not sinners. Read. But if any man be a worshiper of God and doeth his will. And doeth his will. Him he heareth. Do you know what the will of God is, brother? You don't know what the will of God is. Give me the will of God. We're going to show you what the will of God is. Because it's important that you know what the will of God is. Because it say we must do that, right? That's how we show that we worship God. By doing his will. Give me the will. The book of Psalms chapter 40 and verse 8. I delight to do thy will, O my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. So when we keep these laws, that's us doing God's will, brother. When you know you're an Israelite, you keep these laws, and that's how you do the will of the Father on this planet. That's how we rise as a nation, brother. You learn in the laws. Give me Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Because it's important that we know what, what we have to do in this society, in these last days. All right, all praises. The book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them 
fringes in the border of their garments. So this is a commandment. This is one part of doing the will of God. He says, speak unto the children of Israel and bid them, meaning command them that they make them what? Fringes in the borders of their garments. That they make them fringes in the borders of their garment. When you look around at the brothers out here, these are fringes on the bottom of our garments. This is a commandment from God. Let's see why God gave us this commandment. Throughout their generations. Throughout their generations, meaning forever. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. When you look on all of these fringes, you see a ribbon of blue on top. Read. And it shall be unto you for a, a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. So when you look at the fringes, why they're supposed to be on your garments? So that when you see them, you remember the commandments of God. That's you right. remember the laws of God that we are supposed to keep that will make us rise as a people and rise as a nation. Right. Read. And do them. And do them. It's not enough just to remember the commandments. We must do the commandments. Yes. Then and only then can we rise as a nation. You understand that, brother? This is important that you get this in your head. Right? We must understand this thing as a people. We're not going to go. Right? Give me the... Uh, Yep. Give me repentance Because you said that uh, We brought out that you must repent in these last days Let's see what repentance is according to the Bible Because you must know how to repent It's more than just prayer You do have to repent Repentance is a part of the process Read The book of Acts chapter 3 and verse 19 Repent ye therefore Repent ye therefore And be converted And be converted That your sins may be blotted out when the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. So along with when you repent, that means there is a conversion that has to happen. You must be converted. Now let's see what converts us as a people. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 19 and verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. The law of the Lord is perfect. Read. Converting the soul. Converting the soul. So brother, it is the laws of God that converts our soul. You understand that? Psalms chapter 19 verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. So the testimonies of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. When you study this Bible, these laws, statutes, and commandments, this is what makes us wise. That's right. Because we're simple without these laws, brother. Right. We are a simple people. That's why we destroyed out here on these corners. Right. That's why we destroyed out here today. Right. Right. Hold up. Give me, give me, uh, go back to Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. Bring it out! Because you must understand what repentance is. Just right. saying, oh, I'm going to repent, it's action that comes along with that, brother. And so far, everything this Bible says about repentance involves the laws of God. The laws of God have never gone away. Because another law that some of our people break is that they've shaved their head bar. Matter of fact, Leviticus 21 and 5. A lot of our people like to shave their hair. You see what I'm saying? They shave it bald because they go bald in the top. Let's see whether that's okay with God. Leviticus chapter 21 verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head. So what commandment is you shall not make baldness upon your head, read? Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So like I said, but a lot of times people go bald and they shave it all off. You must keep some hair on your head, brother. You can shave it down to the lowest point, but don't bald it. Exactly. It's there, but I just want to make sure you know this law. All right? All praises. Because these are laws that we must keep. But you must learn the law, statute, commandments in order to keep them. Give me Leviticus chapter 11, verse 7. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 7. And the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven for it, yet he chooseth not to cut. Brother, what's the swine? The pig, right? Fuck, right? You don't eat it. All praise, read. He is unclean to you. And the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven for it, yet he chooseth not to cut. He is unclean to you. So pork is an unclean animal for us. We are not supposed to eat that as a people. Give me uh, a... Swark 5 and 7. Because when we learn that we Israelites, a lot of times our people like to put it off. A lot of times our people like to say, oh, I'll start keeping the laws next week. I'll keep it next month. We can't do that as a people. Give me that what you got. Swark 5 and 7. Sirach chapter 5 verse 7. Bring it up. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord. The Bible says make no tearing to turn to the Lord. Meaning don't wait. Don't put it off to come back to the Most High. To keep his laws. Read. And put not off day to day. And put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. For, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. Brother, 
You listening? When you decide that you're going to put it off from keeping the Most High's laws, it says suddenly his wrath will come forth. Read. And in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. And in your security you will be destroyed, brother. So make sure you apply these laws, statutes, and commandments. Our contact information is on the bottom of the flag. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.